the ultimate 2025 review, why are we still using React instead of SolidJS? In this video, we're diving into what SolidJS really is. A revolution, a worthy successor to React, or just another framework piggybacking off familiar APIs to steal React's audience. Solid shouts about its performance, purity, and reactivity. But dig a little deeper, and you see React. Yep, the same hooks. The same component structure, the same habits. Solid stands on the shoulders of giants. Right there in the documentation, it references both React and Knockout. If you've ever used React with functional components and hooks, you'll feel almost at home. Solid doesn't invent something new. It optimizes what's already familiar. It takes patterns you know and makes them faster, simpler, more transparent. No virtual DOM, no unnecessary component re-renders, no extra magic. And here's the real question. What's actually different? Why did Solid even show up if everything already works? A lot of people hate on React's reconciliation and virtual DOM. Cluck, 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 it's slow. Cluck, cluck, cluck. But let's remember why React even needed a virtual DOM in the first place. The browser DOM is slow and fragile. Managing nodes, diffs, and attributes manually is a nightmare for developers. So React said, just declare how your UI should look based on your data, and we'll handle the rest. Behind the scenes, React compares the old and new trees and updates only the parts that changed, that's reconciliation. And then comes Solid. It has a dependency graph based on signals. It says, I'll update only the parts of the DOM that actually depend on change signals. No recreating components, no building a new virtual DOM. Just updating what's needed, when it's needed. Conditional rendering in Solid looks like this. Or like this. But this won't work. Here, even is evaluated once at initialization because count is called outside of JSX. Solid doesn't track count as a dependency for even, so updating count won't trigger a re-evaluation. If you want conditional rendering inside your function, do it like this. I remember we had similar lost reactivity issues with proxy objects, like in MobX. Even with proxies, you can lose reactivity if you pull a value out of the reactive object at the wrong time, outside a reactive context. Example. So we learned that losing reactivity can happen with both proxies and signals. But then why not just use proxies? Why signals? What even is a signal? Honestly, I'm too lazy to explain it properly. Here's a raw snippet of read signal. The real magic is in the observer list. Components or effects subscribe automatically. Can you mess things up using this? Yeah, totally. As we saw with the lost context examples, especially if your main audience is React developers who are used to everything being as simple and foolproof as possible. Remember how they sold us hooks when they first came out? Our class is too complicated for you, we made it even simpler. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Obviously, if you're using Solid instead of React in 2025, you'll need a lot more enthusiasm. There might not be a Solid version of every NPM package you need. You might have to build some tools yourself. Do you need that? Up to you. Tomorrow, everything might change anyway. Insert a PHP joke here. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.